Welcome to Just Debug, Don't Deploy Weird Apps. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, I have seen a lot. Uh, I, I'm often on call with, uh, with developers and consultants all over the world uh, discussing what using my apps and what else is going on. Um, and uh, it's sometimes interesting to to see how different people do regular tasks that I thought, hey, why this is this is weird. Um, so I want to address in this video. I want to address a simple thing. So you want to debug the system. I think that's a fair request. There's a sandbox you want to debug, uh, but you're not necessarily the uh you're not necessarily the entity that is that has deployed any of the stuff on the sandbox you might be a consultant you might be third party myself included so what do you do uh, and um microsoft has actually made this slightly easier uh so let me show you what we can do uh here is a business central um so let's find a good spot to debug. How about sales orders? Really doesn't matter. Um, sales order list. There's something wrong here. We want to debug. Something is, is happening. We're not sure what it is. So we want to debug this system we're on. Uh, and this might be a sandbox, whatever. Uh, as long as it's not production, because you can debug production, uh, you can do snapshot debugging. And there's a video on that already. But what you can do now is that if you go into the page inspector or the page inspection tool, um, there's a new option here called explore page in Visual Studio Code. Um, specify specifies the, the URL that opens this page in Visual Studio Code and attaches debugger to the current session. Okay. Uh, so if I click this, what happens? This site tries to open Visual Studio Code for sure. Allow a language extension for Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central extension to open this URI. Sure. Now I have generated project four and then it starts doing stuff here and that fails uh, for multiple reasons uh, so i'm just going to kill all the things here so what do we get well we get a um, we kind of get an app we get a, a app.json that knows about uh, well, it creates a generated project for, and then it defines the dependencies that are used on that specific page. In this case, I'm sales order, and it, that uses the late payment prediction uh, app and the Shopify connector. Um, and yeah, that's kind of it. So this, in this case, this is actually the non-important uh, thing. The other one is a launch to JSON. And now we can see here there's actually three different um, sections in here. For some reason, they are generated wrong. Um, so I will just manually go in and say this is HTTPS and there's no such thing as nav user password. It's just called user passwords. Um, and I think that's just because I am running right now on a uh, on a Docker image that it gets confused and, and generates this wrong. This is right in the cloud if you are on it. So we get three different profiles. Uh, we get a attach request, we get a generate a snapshot request, and we get download symbols request. So very quickly, let's download the symbols. Uh, we do that from download symbols request. Boom, now we have symbols. So we need symbols in order to be able to debug. So now I can open base application here. And this will load in a second. This will load in a second. That was a second. I can go to pages. 
40, let's go to the sales order. So page 42, the cart, and then go to actions. Um, and let's say that we want to do uh, open the statistics for some reason. Something is happening in statistics. So now we put a breakpoint on this one. So how do we actually connect this? If we go back to launch.json, we can see that there is a top one, generated attached request, which has a session ID of 130. If I go back to where I am right now, and I hit the question mark, and I go down in help and support, and I scroll down, we can see that I am currently server ID, session ID 130. So this is my session. So I can now, if I get rid of help and support, if I drain up here, and now I need to do something special. I don't need to hit a, hit a five because then we are gonna deploy this app. That's not what I want. So I wanna do control shift F5. So I just wanna attach, I don't wanna deploy my app and, and pollute uh, the system. I just wanna connect. So I use this one, the connect session uh, thing to connect. And debugger successfully attached to session 130. It says behind my head. Trust me. Let's see if we can actually. There we go. 130. So that means that I have a breakpoint active now. So if I open the sales order. Come on, you can do it. And then I somewhere find statistics. And now it's blinking. So I get my breakpoint here. So what have I done? Well, I I asked the helper in, in page inspection tool to to give me a, a project so I could connect. I got the symbol so I can and I can make a breakpoint and I, I can start stepping here if I want to. Uh, and uh, I can go into this one and see what's happening and calc invoice discount and go out again if it's order and then I can check something with dimensions and I can probably find the the, 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 the thing I'm looking for the issue uh, and hit a five and then everything works the way it is the cool thing about this is that if I go into extension management now and look to see what is actually published well, there's something with SQL Text that's probably from another video, my PC Shell tool and my AL compiler or dev, but unrelated to what I have done right now. So I have now connected to this sandbox. I got the symbols, I did my thing, and I have not polluted this one with creating, uploading some random app uh, just to be able to debug. I'm just debugging without anything. I, I get a project in, in Visual Studio Code because I need somewhere to host the symbols and I need somewhere to have the description of what to connect to. I can save this and then next time, let's say I go here now, I hit if I reload this thing. So now I get a new session, right? So if, if, if I try to, I'll stop this one, then I hit Control Shift F5 again. Um, and then it's probably still actually 130. Let me, uh, let me kill this thing. See if I can get a real new session going. I'm even logging in, so that should be you got sign. Let's see if I can do Control Shift F5. It's very persistent. Never get a new session when you really want to. Yeah. This okay. So it might actually see session 130 somewhere it's still sitting there, but this is 189 now. So well, okay. So if you, let's see, this, let's do this again. Control Shift F5.
So some for some reason session one thirty is still there, but I would have to go in here and say one eighty nine for this actually to work. I can also get rid of this, remove this, and then if I when I do attach now, it will ask me to say okay. Hang on, am I editing the wrong one? Uh, am I losing my mind here? Oh, did, did I not save this? Sometimes the, I, I could swear I, I've saved. So now it says debugger will attach to the next session of type web plans. Then you can start a session. But then if another user starts a session in the meantime, so it's more safe to actually put in, uh, you know, the session number and, and then you know you're debugging yourself. But it's a it's a very easy way to actually uh, uh, connect to a system. Uh, be aware of the little thing where if if if, you, if you're not in the cloud, uh, you might need to tweak the uh, the generator launch uh, .json file because at least on my it suggested a uh, it suggested a uh, authentication type that, as far as I don't know, doesn't exist anymore and. Uh, it said HTTP instead of HTTPS, but uh, your my your mileage may vary. Uh, so good luck with uh, with debugging and uh, check out this video if you want to see more ill hacking. I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.